with the kick in fish lovers fish fanatics this is a jewel cichlid female and she is sitting on top of some eggs there this is a 15 gallon tank I pulled the sponge filters out about a week ago there is no heater in it it runs about 75 degrees it's a 15 gallon I did have like a bunch of driftwood in here. That's why the tank has like all this mold detritus stuff in it. Uh, there is a tank divider. I gotta divide it off here, a little section of the tank. And yeah, this section here, I have a uh, African leaf fish or African bush, bush fish. It's hiding under the Anubius right now. But he's tiny, like not even an inch, maybe whew, three quarters of an inch. And hiding back there is the male Joe Cichlet. I did notice without the filter running that they're very the fish are very still. They don't swim around really, explore or anything, they just like still. So the jewel cichlet and the African bush fish, yeah, or African leaf fish, are both from the West African continent, the Congo River. Congo River Basin area, which the Anubius is from Africa as well, but I do have some uh, Asian plant there, the lotus, and uh, the duckweed, and the uh, Amazon frog bit, or whatever that's, or the lettuce, that's a South American plant. Too old for these tanks on the ground with the cone you're sitting. I grew out two of the uh, fry baby jewel cichlids from the parents below. The mother and father of this fish here with the ones in the 15 gallon. These are also West African fish right here. I got some Congo tetras. Those are a couple of females right there. That's a female, that's a male. This is a 15, uh, 55 gallon. It is next to a window. Got two marine land strip lights on it. Peace out, Plowy Design Aquariums.